Hey guys, Mike here at Animation Tutorials and welcome back. Well guys, today we're going to do a request that I received from Jennifer. And Jennifer is modeling for a, a game situation and she asked me to demonstrate how to model in a very, very low poly count and also do the uh, UVing, the UV snapshot, the texturing in Photoshop and then applying that to the model in Maya. All right. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do something very simple. We're going to create a mushroom. So for that, we'll take a simple polygon cylinder. We'll go to our attribute editor, hit control A to pull that up. We'll set caps to zero and we'll set subdivision to eight. Okay. Then we're going to go in and we're going to right click, go to face, select that face, edit mesh, extrude, hit R to Scale that out. W to pull that up a little bit. And hit E to rotate that just a little. And then we'll hit G to repeat last command. W to pull up again. And let's hit R and scale the whole thing in. Okay. Maybe you want to tilt this edge here. So right click, go to edge. Double click on that and hit E and rotate it a bit. Okay. One more thing we can do is right click at a vertex, drag select these bottom vertices, hit R, flare that out a little bit, and just bring that down. Okay. So let's say this is our low poly mushroom. What we're going to do next is we're going to right click and go to object mode. We're going to select it and we're going to go up to UV and UV editor to see what we have so far. As you can see, it's a default, nothing going on there just yet. So we're going to go back up to UV and we'll do an automatic projection. And let's see what we get. All right, a little bit better. I'm just going to right click and go to shell so you can see what's going on here. Just hang on, I'll make that a little bit more visible for you. Okay, we'll just go in and hit this guy. Yeah, there you go. So it just helps to see it a bit better. And now what we need to decide is, okay, how are we going to cut up and stitch this UV here? Now we know that the stem of the mushroom will have a different color than the top. So first to start with, we're going to cut these two. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to right click, go to edge, double click. So that edge goes all the way around and go to polygons and we're going to cut them. So cut UV edges. So now we right click and go to shell. We've got the top part there. We've got the bottom part there and some more stuff we need to add on. But this guy is now separate. Okay. So that's one part. Now the second is we want to um, cut this edge down here. Right click edge. And let's select the entire edge going around here. Just hang on. Now we're going to cut that as well. Cut UV edges. So we can right click and go to shell. That's not the one. Hang on. That's one up here. That's fine. So that one's separate. That's good. Then we're going to work our way up. We're going to check these sides here. Okay. We're going to stitch those together. So we're going to right click and go to edge. Select that and go up to move and sew. Select it again, hit G to repeat that. Select it again, hit G to repeat that, okay? So now if you right click and go to shell, we got the entire bottom section there. We got the bottom, which is okay. We got that top projection part there, which is all right. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stitch these guys in and the one way to do that is to cut these up. So we're going to right click, go to edge, and we're going to go up to cut UV, select that one, hit G to repeat, that one, G to repeat, that one, G to repeat, that one, G to repeat, and that one, G to repeat. So now if you right click and go to shell, we've got independent pieces. Now we can go to this guy, right click at an edge, select that one, and as you can see, it corresponds here and go up to move and sew. I'll do that one, hit G to repeat, 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 
git repeat and git repeat. So now that we have all that stuff, I can right click on a shell and start to bring that in here and make sure that nothing is touching the other end and we're good with our UV, okay? So next step is we're gonna take our UV and we're gonna export it and import it into Photoshop so we can tweak it color-wise, okay? So we're gonna go up to Polygons, we're gonna go to UV Snapshot. Here I need to decide on the size of the UV, which is 1024 in my case. I'm fine with that, so we'll just leave it like that. And I need to decide where I want to save it. So I'm going to browse, I'm going to go to my desktop, and we'll call this Mushroom, and make sure you have a UV in the description, okay? Mushroom UV, I'll save that on my desktop. Let's see, anything else? I'm going to save it as a JPEG, and I'm going to hit okay. Looks like we got a little error going on down there. Let's see what's going on. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. So right click object mode. I got the object selected. There you go. And now I'm going to hit OK. And we're done. I'm just going to pause the video, jump into Photoshop, and see you guys there in a sec. All right, guys, here we are in Maya. Uh, sorry, in Photoshop. Uh, we're going to go in. We're going to go to File, New. We're going to do 1024 by 1024 because that's the size of my UV uh, snapshot. And we'll call this mushroom texture that's all good okay and then we're going to go into file open and i'll take the mushroom uv that i created there you go okay so i'm going to go into this guy i'm going to create a new layer there we go and i'll call that uv layer i'm going to go in here I'm going to take this selection tool, drag select everything, edit and copy, then back to this guy, double click on my UV layer, and go to edit and paste, and then drag this down here. All right, so now I know what I'm doing here. So I'm going to make sure that I have my layer one selected and I'm going to use layer a UV layer as a reference. Okay. So let's add some color here. Now I know that this will be the base for my mushroom. So I'm going to go down to my color selection thingy down here. Let's get something that has a somewhat organic color, maybe light green or so. Then I'm going to go up to my brush right there. I'm going to go up to brush size. Let's have a look. Maybe make that a bit bigger. That's about right. And then we'll take something that is nice and faint and we'll increase the opacity a bit. Let's have a go. Yeah, it's not bad. Okay. So we're going to start to just cover our object with that. And we'll do this as well. Okay. And make sure you're doing this on layer one and not on your UV layer. Okay. So we got that. We're going to switch this up a bit. Take something that's a bit darker. Okay. Right. So we got a bit of a darker color here. Let's have a go. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of go down here and what I'll do is I'll tweak the opacity a bit. So I'll go in and maybe push that towards something in a range of 20. So I can kind of blend that up here and it really doesn't matter how you approach that. It's all up to you. I just want to show you the different techniques. Let's bring that up a bit like so. Maybe switch up the color to something that's more black and do the bottom edge there. Okay, you get the idea, all right? And maybe we can do that around the edge here as well. Okay, then we're gonna jump over to this guy. Let's switch up our color to something that's red. All right, 
we're going to increase the size of our brush just a little and we're going to start to cover that in that color all right let's switch that up and take something that's quite a bit more darker make the size a bit smaller and let's uh, tweak the opacity a little bit okay so we're gonna try to darken up these sections here a bit and then maybe in the middle as well and then we'll go into white take a bright white color we'll switch uh, the brush to this guy so it's going to be nice and tight change the size a bit bigger than that something like that and then we're going to go into our opacity bump that way up to 100 and let's just put in a couple of dots And it's really up to you what kind of um, decoration or color you use, but this is just to give you an idea, all right? Cool. Then we're gonna switch our UV layer. We're gonna right click and go to delete layer. There we go. And we're gonna go in and we're gonna go into file, save as. We're not gonna save this as a PSD. We're gonna save this as a JPEG, all right? And we'll save it on our desktop and call this Mushroom texture final and save that out. There you go. Hit OK. And what I also want to do is go in to, uh, let's see, filter. Uh, yeah, filter, filter. And let's do this manually i'm going to go to filter i'm going to go to uh, adjustments go to black and white then go into image adjustments and go to brightness and contrast make sure you have a very high contrast as high as possible and bring the brightness down a little bit and select ok and then we'll go into file save as and again a JPEG and we'll call this bump all right cool all right we're gonna jump back into Maya so there we are this is our object right click object mode I'm gonna right click and assign a new material I'm gonna go with a Lambert hit my checkered box here and I'm going to select file and for the file I'm going to go in and look for my mushroom texture there we go we're going to select this checkered ball here so we should be able to see it hang on guys I'm just going to go back to my UV editor and turn the sky off so now when I select this you can see our texture okay so this is a very very basic setup but you know this is the process and then I want to apply my bump map so I'm gonna select this guy again and I'm gonna go into hang on I'll just uh, delete the history here edit delete by type and history I'll select it go into my Lambert which is my file that I selected I'm going to go into bump mapping, select this guy, go into file, file 2, hit my folder, and look for my bump map. There we go. And there you can decide here to increase or decrease the depth you want to use for your bump. So let's do 0 0.1 and just have a look, okay? So you can see that we have some some uh, activity going on there and depending on what you want you can decide to increase or decrease that okay we're going to keep it minimal so we'll do 0 
which just makes it pop a little bit, okay? So that's all there's to it. So if you have any questions, let me know. But this is how to create a very low poly object. And to be honest, it has 26 faces. So that's all there's to it, all right? So if you've got any questions, let me know. And that said, see you guys next time. And thanks for watching. Bye.